Hi, this is Mika from Gobi Coaching and today I would like to talk about holding space. Holding space is one of those little things we can do for others that might have a big effect. On the one hand for that person we're holding space for and also on the relationship, our relationship with the person. What do I mean by holding space? I mean to sit with someone, let them talk, listen attentively, but not judge and not problem solve. So those last points are key. Holding space is the opposite of directly jumping to problem solving or giving advice. We all tend to do that relatively quickly, like, oh, problem, that's the pot uh, potential solution. We all do that. But uh, sometimes it just takes uh, some time to sit with an issue, to rumble before this makes sense. And also, there are tons of issues that don't even require a solution. We just have to hear ourselves talk about them out loud. Um, that is especially true for extroverts. Introverts tend to think first and then share with others. Extroverts need the sharing with others while they think. It's one process. So that is something to keep in mind when someone wants to talk about an issue they are experiencing. So of course, for many of us, it's really tricky to not immediately suggest something because we often have a more neutral view and there might be an easy solution that comes to mind for us that the other person doesn't mention, so we want to share. But wait until the other person asks, poss if possible. So if the other person asks, hey, what would you do in my situation? Or what's your suggestion? Then please, yes, share. But um, that's not what the other person may need, so the other person may not ask. The second issue here is, what should you do if you really think you have a good solution, uh, but the other person doesn't ask? So first of all, you have to realize that the solution, the advice you have is to a perceived problem, right? So it's what you perceive as the problem, not necessarily as, um, to what the other person sees as their issue. So you have to, choices now. Number one, keep your mouth shut and not say anything. Or number two, if you really, really think you have to share, um, ask the person if they are open to advice or to a suggestion, to a potential solution, ask them. That gives them the chance to say no. They might just say, hey, seriously, no, I've got it under control. I just wanted to share with someone. And that's okay, right? And of course, that same thing applies the other way around. So let people know beforehand, if possible, what you're looking for. Are you looking for advice, for feedback, for a potential solution, or do you just want to vent? Do you just need to hear yourself talk it out? If you tell people beforehand what your expectation is, then it's much easier for the other person to give you the space, to hold the space for you, right? Um, and it prevents misunderstandings uh, in your personal relationship. If, so I usually just say, hey, uh, can I vent for, for a moment? Is that okay? And then start talking about my issue because then the other person knows exactly I'm not looking for a solution. They can just hold space for me and let me rant or vent or complain or uh, just say things out loud and sit with it for a bit. So holding space is a fabulous, fabulous way that does not take much effort. It takes a little effort, a conscious effort, but it's not very hard. And it's a great way to strengthen bonds and to really do something good for a friend, a colleague, a loved one. I hope this was helpful. Uh, share what works for you in your personal relationships. And if you found this helpful, leave me a like, share it with your friends, follow me on Instagram. I would appreciate uh, your support. And this is it for today. This is Mika and I'm here to help you go big.